Hello, I'm Maxira and this is a short video about the RCSS, Rivatuna Statistics Server. In short, I will share with you my knowledge of how we can use the program to get a smooth frame rate that's only achievable with a VSync, but maintain the low input latency that comes with uncapped frame rate. Jumping straight into the topic, I need to show you what screen tuning is. Basically, half of the screen is a frame behind, creating a visible tier in the middle of the screen. Vertical synchronization fixes the issue, but it adds a ton of input latency, which is a killer for anyone who wants to the game to be responsive. Now, there are two options how you can fix the screen tiering whilst also maintaining a low input latency. You can either buy a monitor with the FreeSync or G-Sync technologies built in them, or just use a free program called RTSS, and I will show you how to set up everything correctly with it. You can download the official program from this website. Link is in the description. The highlighted feature of this video, the Skylink Sync, should be set to minus 30. It will lock the tiering line into the upper void of your screen. To put it simply, the video card will just push the latest frame available. Additionally, set your game's frame rate limit to uncapped or the highest available because Skylink Sync is automatic and doesn't need a manual limit. Also, make sure the limit option in RTSS is set to zero. Important. This only works for a game in true a full screen exclusive mode. Borderless will not work with RTSS. Second, your GPU cannot be maxed out completely or it will create stutters. Decrease your settings or lower the refresh rate of your monitor in order to keep your GPU maximum like 80% loaded. And with everything checked, setup is complete. You can minimize the program and make sure it is in the Windows 3, but before that, let's set up a simple visual feedback to tell if things are in fact working as intended. Now, let's test it. I recommend opening RTSS before starting a game and make sure to minimize it, don't close it. Now, starting a game and looking at the top left corner, we can see that the program is in fact working. And before I leave you with the footage of with and without the RTSS, I want to thank you for watching the video. Leave a feedback, share it with your friends and see you in the next video.